Well, backyard composting is a great way for homeowners to utilize the resources that we have in our own backyard. Um, grass clippings, uh, shredded leaves from the fall, just to be some of a few, garden debris from our landscape beds. Rather than sending it off and taking up room in our landfills, um, we can turn this resource into something that we can reuse in the garden, and that's what composting can do for us. There's definitely a few things um, that are on the not list, and a few of those for the garden would be uh, weed seeds and diseased plant material. Sometimes those diseased plant materials um, could transfer over and remain um, active in even through the composting process and the same for weed seeds. Some weed seeds don't even die at a very high heat, but things that are great to put in there, um, any straw, plant residues from garden cleanup in the spring, uh, grass clippings, leaves, and, and then kitchen items can also be composted. This pile here has a lot of items from our kitchen. I can see we've got grapefruit and orange peels, banana peels, uh, coffee grounds, and if you use paper coffee filters, you can put the paper coffee filter in as well because that is also um, organic and will break down. Things to avoid in the kitchen, however, are any fats, oils, bones, um, for a couple reasons. One of them, you could be attracting in uh, wild animals, uh, it could cause some odors. So if you have um, leftover salad that had salad dressing on it, that'd be something that you'd want to avoid putting into the compost pile, um, potato salad, things like that. Um, probably keep out of the compost pile, but if it's just uh, lettuce leaves that are some, uh, some uh, fruits or vegetables that have been past their prime, those are great to go into the pile, apple cores, any of those will all help this breakdown process and add um, some of the nitrogen that's needed, which is often good because most of our piles have a lot of um, brown fallen leaves and those are a high carbon source. So you need a nitrogen source um, to balance those out and help with this breakdown process. For more information, visit your local Extension office or visit our website.